This is an Israeli policeman arresting a Palestinian Israeli citizen. She asks, what's the reason, as he handcuffs her. The reason for her arrest is a post on social media that Israeli authorities deemed insightful. <laughs> Israel has increased its crackdown on Palestinians since the start of its war on Gaza. Any voice raised against the war is silenced. Anyone expressing solidarity with Palestinians in Gaza is hushed. A day after the October 7 attacks, the Knesset issued a new law that criminalizes the consumption of material published by what it calls a terrorist organization. They are using the emergency laws. It's time of war by the Israeli definition right now. So even if you wrote something that is vague or something that it does not call to any kind of violence, just simply showing sympathy with your people, it's also being criminalized. Um, so this is the difficult reality that we are living right now, that everything is being criminalized, including your connection or your, to your identity or celebrating your identity uh, is not legal anymore. Authorities have arrested and interrogated 521 Palestinian citizens for their social media posts and charged 70 of them. Nearly 65 were fired from their work after accusations of supporting terrorism on social media. We're speaking about a, a, a huge use of the counter-tourism law, especially Article 24, uh, which speaks about supporting terrorism and sympathizing with the terror organization. Any expression on the social media related to what's going to the ongoing war and what's going in Gaza could be criminalized. There were no such arrests among Jewish Israelis for their social media posts despite hundreds of messages of incitement and racist posts against Palestinians, including those in Israel. Those who have been arrested include artists, actresses, human rights activists, community leaders, and students. Some of them were photographed next to the Israeli flag in jail as a way of humiliating them. Israeli police procedures allow for the extension of their detention to 90 days without seeing a lawyer. <laughs> Meanwhile, fear is quieting the voices of solidarity. But many say they refuse to be silenced and take the risk of standing up to defend their freedom of expression. Lina Abakle, Al Jazeera.